Have you ever had your penis in the Guinness Book of World Records? Uh, yes, but the librarian told me to take it out. Nice! <laughs> Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid rakes. It's still Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon, follow us Twitter, and subscribe to the like button. Why? Why? Because it, it helps, helps the algorithm. algorithm. Algorithm, you're so fine. Everything we do is for you. Today we got a video, and this is a little video essay on why not to not to became a sensation. And I can tell you, we know why. Because it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good, and it's fun. That, that was, was fun, awesome. everybody. There you Great go. Video. Bye, everybody. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. So this is a, a, a little video essay uh, on it. Um, that would you shut up? God damn it. Um, so here we go. Steph finally watched it. She loved it. That was a beautiful moment. Not just you and me, but the entire world has now become familiar with this song. Not salsa, not flamenco, but an arrangement of beats, rhythm, and lyrics. Look at the Pringles. I love it. its wings to emerge victoriously across the globe. Now, I don't mean this in a bad way, but... I'm still in shock. This is such a pleasant surprise that after such a long time, an Indian film has received so much critical acclaim and recognition. No, I'm not saying that we need Western validation because this film already became a blockbuster in India itself. But I strongly feel that whenever an Indian film receives such kind of uh, accolades, we should definitely celebrate that achievement. And uh, I want to be a part of this celebration with the help of this video. Before exploring and analyzing the song from the perspective of filmmaking, let's talk about how it became a sensation. Or should we say how RRR became a sensation because the impact of this song is very much connected to the impact of the movie itself, right? Well, the reason is simple, word of mouth. But there are a lot of layers to this answer and the process of peeling them off one by one will help us in understanding the journey of RRR and why RRR became a sensation. This video can be a bit long, but I will try my best to justify the duration. So if you like the efforts put behind the video, you know what to do. Without any further delay, let's get started. The year is 2017 and Bahubali 2 has become a big blockbuster. The film captured the attention of not just the Indian audiences, but of the audience hey. outside India. Mostly wow. because of the reaction That's us. channels. That's us right there. <laughs> Today, the trend of reaction channels Woo. has reached... That's really early on too. The keywords reaction by foreigners gets suggested in YouTube search. Anyway, everyone is excited to know what SS Rajamoli will do next. The answer arrives on Twitter with this picture on November 18, 2017. It's SS Rajamoli with Ram Charan and Junior NTR. This picture takes the internet by storm for obvious reasons. A visionary Indian director hinting at his next collaboration with mega power star Ram Charan and young tiger Junior NTR. Despite the title not being announced, the audience showed their love by mm -hmm. suggesting the hashtag RRR as the name for this project. Yep. The makers decide to adopt this hashtag so much so that they eventually... This is crazy. I want to know the original name. I know. As a tradition, a video marking the launch of RRR is released by a DVD Entertainment in 2018. The production has officially begun for the film. But with this news, another news breaks from China in December 2019. India remains unaffected and the films like Alla Vaikuntha Puramulu continue to win at the box office. Then on 22nd March 2020, we have the first motion poster of RRR that also announces its Sankranti release next year. But then India, along with the rest of the world, is put behind a lockdown. However, Team RRR continues to entertain the audience at home by introducing characters Kumaram Bhim, Alluri Sita Ramaraju, Sita and Alluri Venkat Ramaraju. These videos receive a great response from the reaction channels as well. So we can say that people outside India are also eager to watch RRR after watching Bahubali and Bahubali 2. But the situation <laughs> Those were both during uh, COVID. Delaying its shoots and progress. Finally, when we enter the new normal and Indian theatres reopen with the release of Tenet, the one and only official trailer of RRR is released on 9th December 2021. The fans are relieved because we now have an official release date. The trailer crosses international boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't plan this. 
February 2022. The release date is once we should again, copyright him. Right. But finalized <laughs> for 24th March 2022, three weeks before KGF Chapter 2. The promotions begin in full swing and the film finally arrives at the theatres only to leave the audience's jaw drop. Mm -hmm. It instantly became a blockbuster and shattered all records. But just six days later, we have a review published in Variety by Courtney Howard. Yes. I think this was the beginning of the film's foray into... Yes, the she's a big process. reason. RRR starts witnessing great footfalls, especially in the US theatres. The American reaction channels also start posting their reviews and some of them even celebrated their excitement and joy of watching the film by... <laughs> Copyright! I love that. <laughs> I, did, I did not know we were in this video RRR at all. <laughs> taken the number three spot at the American box office. This was the same as Bahubali 2. Then we had another prolific film yeah. critic, Chris Gore, expressing his sheer These, happiness and excitement after The girl and her are both big, big time man. reviewers. Yes. Yeah. He was very impressed with the film. So till now we have Indians living outside India. We have American movie critics and we have the reaction channels who are advocating the brilliance of RRR. That what makes me so happy to think that there's people who consider us to be responsible for part of the word of mouth we celebration. We are the reason it's so good. That's, it's really an honor. <laughs> oh, I've watched that video. It's a really good video. Minute video essay on RRR it's a really good video essay. In YouTube recommendations. He called it the biggest blockbuster that you have never heard of. Then on 25th June, yeah, yeah. Corridor Crew, VFX artist react yep. on RRR uploading the efforts put in by Srinivas Mohan and his team. The film keeps expanding its fan base in the West and eventually the critical acclaim of this film starts catching the attention of directors like Scott Derrickson and James Gunn who tweet about how they totally dug the film. But I strongly feel that the true game-changing moment that fueled this film to an extent that it became unstoppable was this tweet from Edgar Wright. These sentences yeah. triggered so much pride and joy in the hearts of the makers that this tweet took the shape of a trophy mm. etched with these golden words of appreciation from Edgar Wright. I mean, I could not believe that Edgar Wright has watched RRR. And trust me when I say this, that after seeing this tweet, I was like, wait, if Edgar Wright has watched RRR, it means the entire world is going to watch RRR. Again, not craving for Western validation, but come on guys. Edgar Wright is appreciating an Indian film, our film. He's a brilliant so director. Why should we not celebrate? Of this course. This tweet changed everything. Iconic theaters in the US started screening RRR where tickets were sold in seconds. Yeah. SS Rajamoli became an international sensation and RRR became a global phenomenon. I mean, I never expected that hmm. Robert from Japan will dance on Natu Natu while interviewing Team RRR. And SS <laughs> Rajamoli was invited by yeah. Seth Meyers recently to his late night show. There's a magazine photo shoot interview video of Priyanka Chopra where Chris Pratt seems to be totally aware of the success of RRR. More and more reaction channels are spreading the word of RRR by sharing their binge watch sessions. And of course, we have this happening inside an American movie. It was a Chinese theater. Still, the question remains, why did this happen outside India? Indians have been used to celebrating the presence of songs in film and today if you go to the southern part of our country, the celebrations go off the roof. <laughs> the audience yes. expresses their excitement and joy for music in a superlative manner. Yes. So how did this willingness and enthusiasm travel abroad? Why did the song Natu Natu become such a huge sensation? To answer this, let's try to analyze the true meaning and purpose of the song in this film from the perspective this of This is a filmmaking. good point and it's First, true, let's yeah. let's try to understand what is the purpose it's of a song. It's a beautiful a buddy I think moment. this question is valid because these days we often complain about songs being used in the films without any reason. Right. Yes, they are meant to entertain the audiences, I agree to that, but... The idea of introducing a song in the middle of the narrative doesn't work and it can, every time. it continued the story. But that's definitely not the case with RRR, where everything has a setup and a payoff. Yep. I did a video and a, and on a this explaining the brilliant use of Chekhov's gun in the narrative of RRR to bring the plot points together in a way that everything makes sense with the progression of the narrative. 
The same can be said about Natu Natu. This song plays a pivotal role in leading the characters to a great midpoint. Yeah. After Malli is taken away like cattle by the British, it becomes the character motivation for Bheem. But his biggest obstacle is that he cannot just enter the British barracks to rescue her because that would clearly mean suicide. So the makers introduce the character of Jenny, who will become his Jenny. Ally. Now Jenny, who is a British. Cannot just become friends. Jenny from the team, block, right? That's right. They both need a reason to get attracted to each other. Why does that guy That's justify? That doesn't give you the right to treat him like an animal. Sorry, ma'am. In this scene, Jenny exhibits a feeling of my uh, mother-in-law also watched RRR just this week, and she said the main white bad girl. She said, <laughs> she's like, I could have done better than her. <laughs> It's so brutal. In order to bring them together, he looks like Prabhu Dev out of me. <laughs> different plot points which will help in character development and moving the story forward. Since Bhim and his allies failed to enter the barracks, we need a mentor character to help Bhim in his mission. Greatest That's buddy film of all time. This plot point of the train accident that brings together Raju <laughs> and Bhim as friends. By the way, this one shot of the train shadow being very close to the boy in the boat is a great example of foreshadowing that is giving a hint of what is going to happen next once raju and bheem are brought together we once again witness the introduction of jenny bheem is reminded of his mission but this time he has raju to help him with striking a chord with jenny this plot point helps in introducing bheem and jenny to each other and also lets bheem discover the fact that jenny indeed knows about mali this is for him But still, he cannot enter the premises with the help of Jenny, right? In fact, he is absolutely unaware of the inner surroundings of the barracks. Basically, he remains clueless about where inside the barracks has Malli been trapped and cannot go there uninvited. But what if someone invites him to come inside the premises? And what if that same person like says, also helps by giving a ray of hope to Malli that someone is none other than Jenny? who invites bheem to a party on the occasion of valentine's day and who is going to help him to become a part of the british crowd is it valentine's day Someone i didn't remember that fact serving the british raju so raju helps him to i did not know it was valentine's day by suiting him for the occasion maybe that's why there's a thing jenny once again and she's happy to welcome him so yes we can sense <clears> a bond forming between these two characters but he's still not in that place where he's supposed to be he wants to be at a different location so what is also a great the point in this it's the buddy thing in this scene. but it's also Till now raju and his getting these racist butts kicked mm -hmm. but now it will be jenny who will become his ally but jenny needs a very strong reason to get attracted to akhtar along with empathy we need to cuz he's a stone cold babe is what he is that's why how can we do that what are the options if akhtar chooses to kidnap jenny by force in this scene there is a high chance that he will be caught and shot dead Even if he runs away his emotional inclination towards Jenny will never make him do anything wrong with her. Also we don't want these moments of exposition to go to waste, right? <laughs> ah, I wish so we were been able to be there, man. Possible option. How about a song that brings Jenny closer to Akhtar? We have been introduced to Jenny as an empathetic character who respects humanity. So how about amplifying that feeling of empathy and transitioning it to love for Akhtar because we need Jenny to keep acting as the ally till the end of the film, right? Now to depict empathy, she needs to support someone. What if that character is Akhtar himself who gets humiliated by a chap at that party? A guy who fails to impress Jenny and feels dejected seeks revenge from Akhtar by mocking his incapability to dance and that's why we have these dialogues what do they know about art about finesse about dance but while akhtar <laughs> experiences this obstacle raju shows up again to his rescue because he is unaware of akhtar's true identity and considers him his friend plus we will discover after the midpoint the true intentions of raju therefore the song begins with do you know not to not to the song <clears throat> begins with thumping beats and we witness a high energy choreography that leaves everyone at that party speechless but what left me speechless is 
when I watched this video of a theater in the US where the audience members are dancing to the tune of Natu Natu. This was simply mind boggling because honestly, I could never imagine US citizens, Japanese citizens and non-Indians celebrating an Indian language song so much so that it would become a global sensation. But what forced them to get off their seats and match the dance moves? Well, I believe that this song indeed conveys a feeling of competition because in the film itself, it eventually turns into a dance battle. A subtle yet impactful way of defeating the British in their own art and finesse. If you pay attention to the lyrics, every sentence conveys the feeling of celebrating freedom by dancing in the most carefree manner. Dancing like an aggressive bull jumping in the dust of the fields. Dancing like a lead dancer at a local goddesses festival. This song is a musical demonstration of freedom, which is exactly the purpose of a song. To demonstrate a feeling with the help of a rhyme and a rhythm. Natu Natu represents the emotional state of defeating the British. And the way Raju and Bhim invite the crowd in the film. It's also just that same a pretty damn good party song. Yes, it is. The <laughs> was of the film in the theatres. <laughs> This song forces the audience in the theater to become active viewers and members of the film. The audience helps our characters to defeat tyranny and injustice in the most musical way. This is the purpose of this song. An international, non-American musical composition brought together a lot of Americans and other natives across the globe. Every song in this list of the Golden Globe nominations justifies its use. but. I feel that none of the songs are as carnivalesque as Natu Natu. No, they're not. And it is because of these reasons. It will win the Oscar. That it will. Natu Natu deserves to become a sensation. <laughs> That was it, great. That was very good. Great, good, informative uh, video essay. Hats off to uh, Long Live Cinema uh, channel. Uh, that was that was really. And, oh, yeah, I had no idea that we, like, no. we would be featured in That's this amazing. At all, which is fun. Yeah, um, it really is. But yeah, I, I mean, obviously, we wholeheartedly agree. Um, it's. I've seen. I think. Oh, I haven't seen. Rihanna is nominated, right? She is. As is uh, Gaga for okay. Maverick. And I, I've heard all the songs that are nominated. Yeah. There's nothing that nothing comes, comes close. And I, I've said it before. Um, if Indian movies were included with all Hollywood movies, with the scores and the songs every year, there would never be another Hollywood song or score <laughs> that would be nominated for an Oscar or a Golden Globe over an Indian film every year. It's just India has perfected that aspect of filmmaking, yeah, the scores and the songs. Yeah. Nothing that we do here can match it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't care what it is. Like you can go back even probably five to ten years, and that would still be extremely true. Yeah, just because India is so, it, and obviously their their um, films are just full of music. Yeah, as well. So it's I I, I a thousand percent anticipate it to win. The absolutely, Oscar. and I think some of the other reasons that it's and every single one of those is absolutely valid. I agree a hundred percent. I think other reasons that contribute to the success of the song is the fact that it's lyrically really simple to replicate that chorus for people, no matter what yeah. language you sing. Yeah, like Gundam style, it's a very simple, oh, oh, fun oh, song oh, oh. to sing. The other thing is. The choreography you know what that song's about is there? simple enough for people to replicate, but executed so insanely that you are challenged to try to do it the way they can, which you can't. Very few people can execute it at the level that those two men execute the, the choreography. Mm -hmm. But the choreography is easy enough that everybody can attempt at least parts of it yeah. and feel like they're part of the dance party yeah absolutely it's a dance party song um you know what that song's about the gungam style Gundam style it's about overthrowing uh the uh oppressive government is it but they put it in such a way that like you're just because it's, right. it's about overthrowing but also the fact that you can be easily distracted by what's going on nice. around you nice and, and so it's like it's a very political very song. political yeah <laughs> and apparently uh, um what's his name who, who sings it uh, Sai. Sai. yeah he's 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 very active like that in, in, in politics cool. and everything. But cool. obviously we would know because I, <laughs> I don't know that language. Yeah, so I can't really tell what it's, it's saying. Just, it's an, it, it truly is. And I love musicals 
and grew up idolizing Gene Kelly and Fred Astaire, and I'm Ooh. very familiar with movie musicals here and the musical numbers that are the greatest of all time. And we said this when we saw the song. It's without question one of the greatest musical numbers captured on film ever. And yeah. it's, it, it's, it will win the Oscar. It would uh... The only reason it won't is because people just like Rihanna, but it did that. No, if Academy members are, are really honest about the level of artistry, there's it's nothing comes close this year. No, absolutely not. It'll uh, be a big, 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 big snub if it doesn't win. I agree. Um, anyways, let us know what you thought about the video and other videos we can react to down below. Just